Hello, my name is Star Scrolls, and I would like to invite you to my first ever invite. <laughs> uh, I would like to welcome you to my first ever pony customizing video. Um, so this is just another fakey from 1994. Um, I was just hoping to test out some stuff before I decided to start doing things properly. Um, so it's really just kind of going with the flow and making stuff up as I went. Um, so yeah, right here we have hair brushing. <laughs> um, yeah, I started brushing it and maybe trying to sort it out because I wasn't actually sure yet at that point if I wanted to keep the hair or if I wanted to reroot it, which I mean I have done rerooting before on um, other dolls, but yeah. <laughs> um, and then yeah, we just started cleaning up all of the factory paint off. Um, a lot of this is sped up, this took actually quite a bit longer than I was expecting. I'd say the whole custom took maybe an hour and a half, but I did take some breaks and stuff. Um, so yeah, just lots of cleaning, making sure everything's nice and clean. I was using, um, I think 70% acetone, just from the pharmacy. Um, yeah just trying to make sure I got any scuffs or any damage off the base of the pony um, not trying too hard with the eyes because I was gonna paint over it anyway so and there's some really like hard to reach crevices that I just could not be bothered to scrub out um, but yeah go over several times and make sure I get as much as I can um, so then we get some paint out, got some uh, Citadel white base, um, make sure you shake it up nice and good because it's kind of funky <laughs> before shaking. Um, but yeah, these paints are great because they have very high pigment and are able to um, show up a lot easier on smaller, smaller painting custom things, which makes sense because they're full miniatures. Um, but yeah, I also got some tiny brushes off of Amazon. Uh, it wasn't really anything specific, it was just affordable. Um, and yeah, I'm using a, what are they called, pop things, because I heard they're pretty good for sorting out paint. Um, when it dries, you can just pop it out. I'm just kind of testing out, testing that out. Um, and yeah, I forgot to bring an actual palette as well, so um, yeah. Make sure we got lots of white on there. I decided to change the shape of the eyes because, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, lots of layers of white paint. And I decided to add freckles. That's fun. Um, so at this point, I didn't really have an idea of what I'm specifically going for. I was just testing out lots of different stuff, seeing what I liked. Um, a lot of this was really just practicing because uh, the paints are new and I have uh, Mignol stuff pastels that I had had for a few years now but I haven't really properly figured out how to use. Oh, we're going with blue now. Um, and so I wanted to try and test that out as well. Um, so I got some white to mix with the blue for the eyes and now we start with the are you signing the irises? Yeah. Wait, no, never mind. Um, I changed my mind. I'm pulling out the soft pastels. They're gonna be like on the screen for ages. It's gonna be so cool and rad. Wow, we know soft pastels. Um, so yeah, I've been watching customizing videos for a considerable amount of time now, and I, I have a bunch of bases of like once the high dolls and other actual My Little Pony dolls and stuff. Uh, I've just been meaning to actually get onto doing it, but I don't know. <laughs> it takes me ages to get onto actually doing anything, really. Um, but yeah, I started with a cotton tip um, to try and get the soft pastels on, and while it did get on pretty strong, it was not smooth at all, so I'm using a brush to try and... Oh, and my finger. To just try and smooth it out. Um, these soft pastels. I didn't really do the thing where you seal layers as you go. Uh, I didn't really think it was necessary for a very simple design. 
but I think it would, I've heard it really helps with getting the pastels to actually brighten up better. Um, and yeah, I think next time I might use like a makeup brush or something, because these brushes are just, they're not the right type of coarseness for actually spreading it out. Um, try to do some shading on the ears. See, it kind of shows up, but it's not that crazy. Um, and yeah, you can't really see what I'm doing. Classic. Uh, so I think something I learned from this is I definitely need to try and keep play in frame a lot more while I'm recording. I was just doing this on a small little tripod with my phone so <laughs> it's um yeah I had to cut out a lot that kind of was not really visible and therefore wasn't much point in keeping in the video. Um, but yeah at least these parts. Uh, this was an interesting decision to add white to the nose. I don't think it looks terrible but uh, I don't know, I would definitely probably wouldn't do it again. Um, or I would I would maybe use a different way of putting it on there, just so it's not so obvious that it's painted on there. Um, and here I'm lining up the cutie mark. I decided at this point, hey, let's just put a mushroom on there because the freckles and the blush kind of look like mushrooms to me. Um, so yeah, just I think I definitely need to work on my precision and getting the right amount of paint on the brush as well. Um, it was just kind of, I had to go over it several times, but then that also made it wider because, yeah, I'm not the most steady, steady handed person. Um, but yeah, I was pretty happy with how that turned out, so I'm trying to mirror it on the other side. It's definitely not exact. Um, Oh, surprise, surprise. <laughs> um, but it's pretty close. It's not entirely obvious. So I'm just looking at the pony right now um, while I'm recording. And well, you see later, but I accidentally um, messed up on the key marks and then it's still a bit funky. But oh, well, that's fine. It's a learning curve. Um, so yeah, now we finally got into the eyes. Woo! <laughs> um, so just add blue, it would be nice. And I was just kind of going with the more simple colors because, um, yeah, nay. <laughs> um, it'd just be easier for the first time. Um, I think at some point I want to invest in more just base colors and stuff and maybe some shiny paints and stuff. But for now, we're just, we're just keeping it simple, keeping it nice. Um, at some point I also want to open up lots for commissions but yeah I really need to practice some more um, before I even consider that and yeah I don't know. Uh, yes um, so <laughs> I do face painting and I find often whenever I'm doing the left side of someone's face <laughs> I always mess it up and that that's still the case for ponies apparently um, and I guess you know it is pretty similar to face painting but much smaller and uh, instead of the person moving around and stuff it's my hand not having a good grip on the thing um, but yeah I'm still pretty happy I definitely would you know maybe do a bit more with the eyes next time I think it was just a very simple cell shading looking eye this time but I, I really want to have some fun and add some colors um, but yes the highlights <laughs> highlight of any eye um, and it has purple. Um, so now we're adding some purple for the, uh, the iris, I guess. Yeah, that's it. Um, <laughs> so try to make that even on either side. But I mean, you can't really see both at once and be able to tell it's really messy or, you know, it's a horse. Um, so I definitely need to work on that when I start getting onto human faces. Um, but yeah, got some eyelashes. This, <laughs> this is messy, man. <laughs> Um, I just decided if I messed up, I'll just copy that to the other side, or if I need to cover something. Oh, I found a hair in it, I don't know. Um, but I got it off. Um, another thing is my phone keeps auto-focusing on the wrong things. Um, I need to figure out how I might be able to do that manually. 
I got a Samsung, so it's pretty rad. Um, but yeah, I, I need to work on that. Um, but I think it started improving at this point, especially with actually getting stuff in the shot. Um, oh, and then I, whoopsies. <laughs> Um, messed up some of the paint, as usual. Oh, that almost always happens. Um, yeah, I skipped a bunch of this as well, just because it, it it took some time to actually get everything out. Because you know, when you when you're using acetone, it moves the pigment across, and it's you just <laughs> you just gotta keep getting a clean bud to actually get all the pigment off. Um, but yeah, I skipped a bit. I don't know if you could tell. And uh, now red, shaking that red. Oh yeah. Um, so I really enjoy how the Citadel colors like pop open when you open them. Kind of, kind of entertaining there. Um, so yeah, I decided to go for red. I wasn't sure at the time. I was like, it's a bit bright and it's a bit different from the rest of the colors. But it is a, it is a cutie mark. So. What can you do? Oh, another hair. Uh, yeah, and another thing is I should have tied the hair away. It just kept <laughs> ruining some of the paint and stuff, or getting in it. There's still some sections where it's just got paint in the hair. Um, I think if I were to swap out the hair, I would have to um, paint it before rerooting, because that way the hair will stay out of the way. Um, or I, I need to like section it off and I don't know, surround it in something. Um, but yeah, continuing with the cutie mark. It really is just a mushroom. <laughs> Whoa, what a creative name, mushroom glade. <laughs> oh well, but yeah, I think I think I like the design at the end and you know, that counts <laughs> for something. Um, and yeah, it, it's simple, it's sweet. And you know, like most of my, well, my old pony characters and OCs, um, they they never really were Earth ponies, because, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. When I was a kid, I just thought they were so boring. But I, don't know, I think I think there's a vibe to them, and yeah, maybe I can make some more OCs. Now this, okay, this was a mistake. <laughs> I should not have put red on the nose. It almost looks like blood or something. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. Um, I've learned from it. I will probably not use red again. But the issue was I was painting it on and I really should have just maybe used some more soft pastels after doing a layer of um, matte varnish. But you know, it's fine. <laughs> you know, it is, it, is, it is simply a learning experience um, and yeah. So now we've got some white out for the mushroom bottom, for the bottom of the mushroom. The stalk? I guess that's the stalk. Oh, and then I got sidetracked and I was like, oh wait, what if I paint freckles on the back and add, add the orange there as well? Um, something you might notice. I, well, okay, for this video I've just kind of put everything in the order that I did them. Maybe next time I will shuffle it. But, I don't know, kind of like adding and showing the process because it's, you know, not everything's linear or necessarily even planned. I was just kind of thinking, man, that would be cool. Oh, and then I got more distracted. No, did I? Okay, sorry, yeah, this is more dots in the back. No? No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's a heflock, the fetlock. I forgot what it's called on the horse with the fluff at the bottom. I was like, yo, now I gotta add fluff on the bottom. That's white. That's fun. Um, <laughs> so as you can see, I get very sidetracked. Um, and then if something's drying, I don't wait long enough to let it dry. I was like, ah, oh, no, I gotta, I gotta do something. I wanna do something else. And I... <laughs> oh man, I think something I've gotta learn is patience. I gotta learn that patience. All right, back to the back. Back and back. Um, so yeah, I just add some little spots and stuff. They're kind of messy, but I think it works because you know horses have fur or horse hair at least, and it, you know it wouldn't just be a circle, right? 
<laughs> right? Um, but yeah, it's fun. Lots of spots. Alright, and now we, we're adding spots in the mushroom. This side, like I said with face painting, the right side was amazing, gorgeous, stunning, no issues. Well, not, not many obvious issues anyway. And I was really happy with it. Um, the left side, I <laughs> had a bit too much paint. And then, well, I guess you're gonna see what happens when you have too much paint. <laughs> Um, I think that's another thing, like my paint consistency, I keep having too much or too little. Uh, I mean, it looks great for now. Oh, it's, oh, it's fine. <laughs> Even now you can see the hair right next to it. It's so ready to just ruin it. Anyway, I got distracted, um, painted the ears white. Oh, how fun. And you know, a lot of these things, they, they, they look pretty nice, but I wouldn't say it's anything crazy. What was I? Oh, zooming out. That's fun. Now you can see all the stuff I had on the desk. Um, I think I was starting to figure out what I might want to do with the hair. Because, yeah. And then I decide I might as well um, braid it. Oh. And yes, so the hair had gotten into the cutie mark. And. <laughs> Smudged it all up. But okay, let's cover this up. This is sped up. Um, I already did it. Did did it. Um, and I think I cut the bit where I um, cleaned up the side thing, where a bit of the white spilled onto the rest. And that's the thing, you know. It <laughs> gotta wait. I gotta be patient. But it's very very hard to do that. Um, so yeah, I'm redoing the dots. Very fun though. I like doing the dots. The dots are fun. I should have put it. It's just dots. Call it spotty. <laughs> um, but yeah, fixed it. Um, and then yeah, I cleaned it up. But I'll just get that. Who, who ain't nobody got time for that? Here we go. Um, high gloss mud podge. I really should have done this after the mat, and that was also a, a lot of mud podge there. That was way too much mud watch. This time I messed up the right side. Ooh, that's crazy. But yeah, after adding the matte um, varnish, it the mod podge lost its shine, so I had to do it again anyway. Um, but now I know for next time. The mod podge comes last. Um, but yeah, pretty happy with it after. It's just it's just nothing crazy, you know. Just a humble little pony. All right, here we go. More brushing. So at this point, I decided, yep, keeping the hair. Um, I actually even skipped out a bit of the brushing. I'm pretty sure it was really long. <laughs> See, it takes ages, but I really enjoy doing it. I think it's, I think it's nice and fun, and relaxing and therapeutic. Um, yeah. You know, when like when you're a kid and you just somebody like massages and does your hair oh it's so nice i know the ponies aren't real people but <laughs> i like to go hey yeah <laughs> i like this i like it when people do this to me so i'll, I'll say the ponies of practice you know that's what they're great for practicing people hair Oh, uh, I'm not even sure if I re if I learned braiding that way. Did I? Oh, who knows? Uh, anyway, I twist tied this. I didn't have a hair like a tiny hair like on me. I might swap it back over when I get back home because I'm not home right now. Um, but yeah, I just just twist. Not twist. That's not a twist tie. Is it? Um, anyway, <laughs> yeah, I will swap it over, I think. Um, so I decided to section the hair off. I still wasn't sure what to do with the front section, if I wanted to cut it or not. Uh, the video, I did not record the part, a uh, little bits after. Um, but yeah, I did end up cutting the fringe, which in some ways wasn't the best idea 
not amazing, but I did use some glue to try and style it better. But yeah, I don't know. Probably was a better way to do that, or a more interesting way to do that, but eh. Oh, braiding, like braiding these is so hard because the, the toy itself is so small and lightweight. Like you have to hold it with one finger and then also have tension for braid. And it's, it's difficult. Uh, maybe I'll get a clamp at some point as well. <laughs> clamp a pony. <laughs> you are stuck. You are trapped. I will braid your hair. But you know, another idea. I, I mean, you'd, I'd normally just hold it with my knees, but you can, I can't really do that on camera. Um, yeah, so at this point, I was trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with the hair. Um, and I don't know, I think I just kind of gave up, so I decided to do the next thing. Um, well, funny thing is, I'll let uh, live action star explain. Now, last time I was customizing. Oh, I grab it. Okay. I was silly. Oh, first of all, it was silly to use a, a wig I colored with acrylic paint to try and do hair. Oh, well, um, I'll fix it up at some point. But no, what I'm talking about is this one. Now, I think. What I had done, the face up, is used glazing medium, Liquitex glazing medium, like a dummy dumb. And there's parts where it's really like patchy and just falling off. Um, so that that hasn't been continued, unfortunately. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. I figured I should, yeah, do some practice after I've got the proper materials, which is what this is. And of course I'm practicing with a pony first because I have a problem. But also you can never go wrong with ponies. All right. And yeah, so that kind of explained. <laughs> I think at the time I had known about the brand Liquitex and went to my local art supply store and they only had like the glazing medium in stock. So I was like, oh, it should be fine. <laughs> oh no, um, yeah, that did not work out. So yeah, thankfully this time I actually have the Liquitex matte varnish and not <laughs> it's a glazing medium that like makes things more liquid, doesn't it? But yeah, at some point I'm planning on redoing um, that other doll space and then finally actually starting the um, Dracula one that I had started for a custom. I, I've even made a skirt, a tiny little skirt, like a doll sized skirt for that and I haven't. <laughs> oh man, but yeah. Um, so yeah, just stippling, stippling all that on and it should be all good. Yeah. I let it dry. I I have discovered I found um lots of dust from my face painting sponges had gone onto the pony. <laughs> Some of it's still there. Um but yeah, here we go. The pony has been finished. Well, okay, not that version of the pony. That version of the pony um is not the finished version. Um, but next up we're going to have the glamour shots and yeah, I also made a little drawing of her at the end. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks. Bye.